Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create the leaderboard system on the screen right now. This video is also brought to you by Loot Locker, and it's what we are going to be using to make the system. So the first thing you want to do is create a new account on lootlocker.io. I'll leave a link down below and go ahead and do that. Okay, so once your account is created, just go ahead and sign in and press set up a new game. Give your game a name and then select your genre. I'm just gonna do other as it's a tutorial. Then on here, you wanna select your platform, this doesn't really matter as you can change this at any point. For the time being, I'm just going to do other because I'm not planning on releasing this. Okay, so now that our account is created, we want to go ahead and download the SDK. So I'm going to leave a link down below to this GitHub page, which is the Unity SDK for Loot Locker. Just press code and then download the zip. Once you downloaded it, make sure you extract it. Mine's on my desktop, but put yours wherever you want it. Then in a brand new Unity project, just press window and then package manager. Inside of package manager, press this little plus button and press add package from disk. Then you want to locate your Unity SDK, go to package and then open. Once the importing has been finished, you should see Loot Locker under the custom tab. Make sure you are using one of the newer versions of Unity and not something a lot older. I'm using 2020.1.7. Okay, so before we get started doing anything, we want to go back to the Loot Locker website, press settings and then just copy this game API key. Make sure you don't actually give this key to anyone by the way. Then press edit, project settings and then on project settings you should see this tab now that says Loot Locker SDK. On this tab, you want to just paste your API key in, and then for the platform, select iOS, since it doesn't actually require any platform integration to test it. Also, I'm going to enable development mode, and make sure you just have all and then allow token refresh. So the first thing we're going to do is actually send scores to the leaderboard. To do this, we're going to create an empty object, and we're going to call this leaderboard controller. I'm also going to um, create a new script um, under the same name, so press new script, and then create an add. Okay, so inside of the script, we're going to remove these two using methods and we're going to add two of our own. The first one being unity engine.ui and the next one being lootlocker.request. We can also remove these two functions as we won't be using them. Starting off, we're going to make a public input field. The first one is going to be called member ID and the second one is going to be called player score. We're also going to make a public integer uh, called ID. So the first thing we want to do is authenticate our player. So let's create a new function called void start, inside of which call the loot locker SDK manager dot start session. Now the first thing we need to input is our player identifier. For our case, I am just going to call this player, but yours could be absolutely anything you wish. Afterwards, I'm going to create some brackets, write response. Then I'm going to do an equal and larger than sign, remove the last bracket, make some curly brackets, and on the last one we need a normal bracket and a semicolon. And then in here we're just going to check if our response was successful, and if it wasn't. Inside of here you can do whatever you want, I'm just going to call a debug.log that says success. And for the else I'm just going to put failed. Next up we need a way to submit our scores, so create a public void submit score, inside of which we're going to call the loot locker SDK manager once again, but this time we will call the function called submit score. In these brackets, we are going to reference our member ID and then dot text. Afterwards, we want to enter our player score. Now this needs to be an integer, so we're going to pass it. So do int dot pass, and in the brackets, just write player score dot text. Then we want to reference our ID. And finally, we want to do response in brackets, just like last time, equal and larger than. And then once again, make sure to have your bracket and semicolon at the end. And then in here, all we need to do is copy over this code and paste that in like so. With this finished, we can go back into Unity and set up our UI. So for our UI, I'm going to right click in a hierarchy, press uh, UI and then Canvas. I'm going to set my Canvas to scale with screen size and I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. I'm going to press UI and then Button. And I'm just going to call this Submit Score. Okay, so I have my button and I basically just made it look a little bit nicer. And on here we're going to scroll down and then on the on click function we're going to press the plus button, add the leaderboards controller, then select the script and then press submit score. Finally we need to add an input field, so select UI and then input field. Okay so I've gone ahead and created my input field for submit score. We also want to do the same for our member ID, so I'm basically just going to duplicate this. Then on our leaderboards controller we want to drag in the player score and the member ID. Finally before doing anything we need to grab our leaderboard IDs. Okay next go to loot locker. Systems, Leaderboards, press Create, give your leaderboard a name, and then for the key, just give it a name that is memorable. In my case, I'll just have Tutorial Leaderboard. Then select your type, I'm just going to go for Generic. For the Direction Mode, I'm going to select Ascending, and then ensure you have Enable Game API Rights. And then press Save. 
Then all you have to do is just copy your ID and paste this into this uh, ID box here. Instead of Unity, you need to enter a member ID, and this has to be at least six characters long. I'm making the player enter this, but I would recommend having some sort of a random number generator. I'm also going to enter a score of maybe like 40, and then press submit score. If this was successfully finished, you should have this success. And then on the website, you should be able to press view scores, and here we have our score of 40. Okay, so how do we actually display these scores on a leaderboard? That's what we're going to do next. So I will set up my UI first. On the canvas, I'm going to create a new UI image. This isn't necessarily required, but I'm going to do this for purposes of the tutorial. I'm going to drag this custom sprite that I made to the side. Instead of this, I'm going to right click, press UI and text. I'm basically going to make it match up with my board. Okay, so my leaderboard can fit seven, but you can have however many you want. And make sure the text is actually empty for the time being. We also want to create a new button. So let's duplicate the submit score button, and this will be our show scores. So next up, we want a method of actually displaying our scores. So to do this, create a new integer called max scores. And mine is going to equal seven because that's how many I want displayed, but yours could be anything you wish. Then make a public text array. And I'm just gonna call this entries. Next up, we want to create a function for displaying our scores. So make sure this is a public function, public void show scores, inside of which we will call the loot locker SDK manager and get score list. And then inside of this, we'll call ID max scores. And then once again, we want to create some brackets, type in response, equal larger than, and then have your bracket and semicolon at the end. I'm then going to copy this response and success. So copy and paste this into here. We can remove the first debug and we're going to make some custom functions in here. So first of all, we need to create a new array. This will be loot locker member. And I am going to call this scores. And let's make this equal response dot items. Then we need to create a for loop, so do for int i equals zero, while i is smaller than scores.length, i plus plus. Instead of here, we will call entries brackets i dot text, and this is where we decide where we want our text to be. I'm just going to make this equal scores brackets i dot rank plus, and then I'm going to do a dot one, two, three, but yours could be whatever you want. Plus our scores, once again, make sure you have the i dot score. This will pretty much display our rank and the score of that rank. Okay, but what happens if we don't have seven entries? Well, this is fairly simple. We're gonna make an if statement to check if our scores dot length is smaller than our max scores. Then we're gonna create a new for loop. So for int i, this time this is gonna equal our scores dot length. As long as i is smaller than max scores, we're gonna do i plus plus. Then inside of here, we're going to write entries, which is our text, dot i, dot text. So first of all, we want to display the rank. So we're going to write i plus one, and we're going to turn this into a string. And then we're going to add um, a dot, and then one, two, three, and then put like none or zero or whatever you want. Okay, so that is everything. We have our show scores finished. Let's go back into Unity. So first of all, click on your show scores button, scroll down, and make sure you have leaderboards controller, and then show scores. Then select your leaderboards controller, lock it in place, then open up your leaderboard and all the text values that we created, basically just grab them and drag them into entries like such. So inside of Unity, we can press show scores and this should display our scores. Right now we only have one which is 40 and it matches up with the website. But for instance, we might wanna add another score of maybe 70. So press submit score and then show scores and it should still show on the leaderboard. So that is our leaderboard system. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and check out Loot Locker with the link down below. I will see you guys later. Bye!